Hello everybody, welcome to um, my Facebook Live tutorial for this week. It's Fiona Bradley from handmadebyfiona.com coming to you from a, uh, a cool uh, Melbourne morning but it's going to be hot today so I'm getting in a bit early and uh, getting all of my fun stuff done and then uh, a little bit of housework which I've already started knocking off this morning. Um, so I wanted to make with you today uh, this card. So it uses the little elephant stamp set and uh, we're just going to use the little umbrella for it. And I've done some watercolouring, if you can see in the background, I've watercoloured the sky. Uh, so I've been using the shimmery white cardstock today because that takes the water a little bit better than normal cardstock but I don't want it to be so wet that I'll be needing the watercolour paper. Morning Tracy, so please you can join me. Uh, I bet it's not so hot where you are this morning so um, lucky you. Very jealous. Um, but I will batten down the hatches soon, draw all the curtains and we will be uh, cool as a cucumber. Uh, I've also used the Scent with Love sentiment from the Itty Bitty Greetings. This is a two set stamp set, so there's a whole other um, case of stamps that go with this one. Uh, and I just want the Scent with Love. So we might do our uh, stamping first and I'll get to the sentiment in a second. Um, so let me get the umbrella out. Um, Okay, so the colours that I'm using this morning for this are Pacific Point, Poppy Parade, Mango Medley, um, Granny Apple Green and Pineapple Punch. And then I've coordinated the background is Pineapple Punch as well. And for the sky, I will be using Coastal Cabana. And that's what this layer is as well, is also Coastal Cabana. So a very uh, colour matching card. I think for this it's best to open all your stamp pads up because the way I do a card like this is to stamp um, one umbrella at a time rather than one colour at a time. Uh, this is because... I can just sort of see where I'm going a bit better with that and I don't I end up with a more even spread. Uh, this is my chamois to clean off the stamps as I go. So it doesn't matter which colour you start with, um, I might start with one of the light ones and uh, just go for it really. I mix up the way that they go down. But when I'm making a card like this I will work around the one that I've put down and go from there. And that way I find I get the best coverage uh, of colour, or you know, the best sort of distribution of colours the way that I want them. If I put down, say, Mango Medley twice, oh, I could do that, but then I sort of find, oh, now I've got a gap that I can't fill very easily. And just go around and do this around the whole card, really. The little stamp keeps coming off its... Um, uh, and I'm actually putting these quite close together. I made a few of these cards and some of them I put together... Um, the umbrellas closer to each other and other ones further apart. I can't decide which sort of I like, so I just tend to go with whatever I'm doing at the time. But maybe you guys could tell me what you think when we're finished.
Sometimes when I get a stamp set, I forget to look at the sort of not, not the major stamps. You know, so this is an this is an elephant stamp set. Well, that's sort of what it's based around. But um, there are so many other good stamps that are in it that can stand on their own, like this umbrella. And uh, I've got to learn, I think, to to look for those stamps a bit more and make cards that highlight them. Uh, and you can step right away from the theme of the card. Uh, sorry, the theme of the stamp set, um, but still have this great card. Might do one down there too. Now I'm starting to get like I want to finish my stamping and get moving, so I might do a few at a time. Uh, and it's important to go off the card, I think, just to um, stamp off, just so that it looks a little more like you, they're, they're not just in the shot of the square, but they're kind of all covered. Now, I'm going to let that aside while we do our sentiment, because I want them to dry just a little bit. When we watercolour, we're not going to be putting down too much uh, water so they won't bleed but I still just want to be well clear of any wet ink so let's do our sentiment uh, for this you'll need Versamark you need to have um, white powder uh, we call it embossing powder and I need my embossing buddy Which has gone walk about on me. Come on, embossing buddy. Okay. You don't want to see my craft desk today. It is a little bit messy, I'm ashamed to say. Okay. Let's see how this goes without the embossing buddy. The embossing buddy just helps um, create some static so that the embossing powder doesn't stick to it, you know, all over the card. What we don't want is little flecks. But you can sometimes just clear those off with your finger. And we'll give that a good heat, heat emboss. And we'll pop that aside until we get onto our layering up. Okay, now what I want to do is take that Coastal Cabana and put a bit of ink into the lid by squeezing it together. And I want this to be very light. Oh, I've still got yellow ink in my... It's all right. So you can see just a very light covering there. And... What you do is you just put some colour down around the umbrellas, but not too uniformly, and that way it gives you a bit of the look as if they're, you know, really in the sky or clouds. You want to give a good gap around, this is what I meant about, we're not going to go so close that the colours will bleed, but um, I don't want to be too far away from them either. And you can see that the brush strokes give that almost sort of slight cloudy appearance to the sky. And that's what I liked about this design. Okay. 
kind of reminds me of um, Mary Poppins. Has anyone seen the new Mary Poppins film? I think it's called Mary Poppins Return. Oops. If it does get a bit dark, you can just wipe it off like that with a bit of absorbent towel. Oh, it takes away the water and the colour really nicely. So there's a bit of forgiveness in these, in the water colouring. You haven't seen it yet, Tracy? I went to see it in the start of January and uh, it was good. Some new songs. I don't know if that I think it's any better than the original, but if that was always going to be a bit of a tall order. Julie Andrews is one of a kind. So, just going through there, making our sky. And if you think that you've kind of given it too wide a berth around an umbrella, you can go back and put in a bit of ink, a um, bit of colour down there. Like I said, we want a little bit of a white barrier around it, but not, not too much as though we've missed spots. Okay, now, make sure that's well closed. When I'm using something like this that I have put water down, I tend to use some adhesive tape. Because the page buckles a bit, uh, I think the adhesive tape is just a better stick than the uh, glue. Um, but you can use the Tombow just as easily, I think. Um, but it, the page does buckle a little bit, as you can see, it's not completely flat. So, now the trick here is, uh, because of that, because we're not using the Tombow, there's no wiggle room. Once you put down the paper with um, sticky strip on it, or what's it called, tear and tape now, it's quite unforgiving. So, fingers crossed we can do this in one go. Come on, Tay. Last one. Come on. Okay. And then we can use Tombow for the rest. And uh you can see it's just a little easy to line up with the Tombow. You can kind of put it down and then swiggle it around so that it's in place. You don't get too long, but long enough, I think. And um, because I'm using all the layers, I'm not popping this up on any dimensionals. Um, I think the layers themselves give enough dimension to the card. Okay. And the scent with love. I went about here, and again I glue that one down. Oops. And I finish that off with a candy dot. One. You could put a rhinestone or a pearl or whatever took your fancy just to tie that together. Um, so there we go. Thanks, Tracy. You like that one? So there's the car that I've just made. And here are some others. I made quite a few of these just to uh, brighten up the, the day. That is my Scent with Love watercolored umbrella, sort of falling umbrella card. 
so thanks for joining me today uh, on this warm Friday in Melbourne. I wish you all happy crafting until I come to you with another video soon. Happy crafting. Bye.